this is what did you what do you call it a, a, a folie de deux folie a deux which folie is a deux. french word for when sort of madness uh, sort of uh uh, couple, like a couple descends into madness. Well, your feedback loops actually start making you more and more insane. Yes. And, you know, that's the danger of like doing a podcast with your wife, I guess. <laughs> and is because at one point you have to decide, like, are we going to argue all the time on this show? No. Well, then we'll, you know, we're, we're like-minded. We'll agree. And then we wrap up the podcast and then we just go home. We talk about like what we're going to be talking on the podcast. And then over dinner, we talk about it. And then we're both on such the same page that we only get friends that agree with us. And then pretty soon it's just a freaking loony bin. And I give you, um, Brett Weinstein and what's her name? Heather, Heather High. Heather High? Uh, Hying, H-E-Y-I-N-G. And their, dis their further descent into madness. We are being asked to accept that the Israeli military and intelligence complex aired so massively as to allow this incredible breach of this border that apparently, according to a captured Hamas operative, shocked even them. They did not expect to be able to do this. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. It could be propaganda. Who knows? But we are being asked to accept that there is some organic explanation and that we are furiously trying to figure out what it might be when that extends Positive. well beyond. Now, I have uh, an explanation for this. There's two of them. One is never underestimate incompetence but two we clearly know that the military uh the soldiers who would otherwise be stationed down at this border were up in the west bank helping settlers steal uh the houses of of palestinians they were uh, guarding the building of a sukkah a sukkah in um in in harawa is that it uh, yeah i can't pronounce it um, and there's been, uh, you know, a lot of unrest there. And so they needed a lot of military to protect the building of this, uh, sukkah. And that's the, that's the, that's me buying the conventional explanations. But Brett has some insight because this is just bizarre. I'll say one person in the chat already guessed where he's going with this. Yes, of course. No, <laughs> but... We are being asked to accept that there is some organic explanation and that we are furiously trying to figure out what it might be when that extends well beyond any plausible failure. And I will defend that in a second if I need to. But superficially, just say, if that oh, sweetheart, you failure We're both is beyond what an organic failure could produce plausibly, then the question is, has something gotten into the Israeli system that is ready to sacrifice civilians for some other purpose that has not been named and we do not know. And that's a, an incredible thought. It's a terrible thought. On the other hand, if you look at what Israel did during COVID, right. the entire population was betrayed. Israel had amongst the highest vaccination rates of any country on earth. That was the result of whatever it is that controls the Israeli system of government inflicting unnecessary harm on the population of Israel. I don't know what to make of it, but the fact that you have two historical events that appear to have nothing to do with each other, that share oh, the it's, it's interesting how they appear to have nothing to do with each other. The incursion just months after people got their last booster <laughs> interesting in many respects hamas is like the booster shot that pierces the the skin if you will of the israeli body politic and interesting <laughs> israeli system of government inflicting unnecessary harm 
on the population of Israel. I don't know what to make of it, mm. but the fact that you have two historical events that appear to have nothing to do with each other, that share the characteristic of looking like something that must go <clears throat> beyond the level of organic failure, both of which involve something in control that has asymmetrical access to information, mm -hmm. putting the population of citizens in jeopardy of terrible things, and then so, not telling the truth about it. Right. And again, I think, um, you know, massive, unprecedented error. I would say that error there is doing the same job as broken in what I was talking about earlier, that error and broken uh, can mean two totally different things. You know, perhaps everyone involved is actually overwhelmed with, with grief and a desire that this never, ever, ever happen again because the system is what it appears to be and it is the thing that it came to be under normal circumstances or... Hey, pause it for one second. Did you, in college, did you ever have a situation where like when you would take a bong hit <laughs> and you would hold it in your mouth and you would blow it into someone else's mouth? And then imagine if they took what you've blown into their mouth and they held it in their mouth and then they blew it back into your mouth yeah. and then you took it. <laughs> That's what this conversation feels like. Uh, and they're just like getting themselves deeper and deeper into this. Yeah, it's wild. Like Israel's uh, vaccination program was great for Israelis. Like, and if you look at po uh, death rate per 100,000, that theirs is 140. Ours is about, uh, let's see, where are we at? 341. So about over double. <laughs> and by Israelis, you mean Jewish Israelis. I mean, Precisely, like the people yeah, yeah. in the occupied territories, they're not so much. Right. Uh, but you didn't get those. You didn't get the shot. You'll get the, you'll get the vaccination but if, eventually. I would say if uh, there was science to suggest that... Um, that actually these vaccines were dangerous to people. I think they probably might have uh, vaccinated people in the West. Unless, oh yeah, exactly. Unless there's something within the body politic of Israel that is actually trying to raise the Palestinians up. up. Oh, wow. It's like the difference between broke an accident <laughs> go ahead let's uh, overwhelmed with with grief and a desire that this never ever ever happen again because the system is what it appears to be and it is the thing that it came to be under normal circumstances or perhaps there are those who have helped to make things happen who are benefiting What's funny, um, well, just real quick, this is like like when you have to hit like a 1600 word limit on a paper and you just like, okay, we got a good solid 800, but we need to just drag it out a little bit. So what a, what's the difference between error? And but I also just like it is. Yes. I mean, they both have to respond. I guess they feel that, like this obligation of like, you've got to you got to build. Please. Yes. And me on this. Uh, but I also just think that we're watching like just we're just watching some type of sheer insanity this is like the same feeling i had when we we played that clip was it yesterday of the woman at the the trump rally going like oh the oh, yeah. the space force space force knows that the the election was stolen there are 279,000 000 sealed indictments it's probably 500,000 indictments right now let me walk with me while i tell you about this <laughs> like i that's what i feel like we're watching here i mean, just watching like huge swaths of the country just going crazy except for these guys have figured out how to monetize it Go yeah on. no they're making themselves have goosebumps with their own sort of thoughts and uh, they're able to monetize it i wonder if they walk off the set and go like ah oh, i am terrified Are you terrified? Exactly. I'm totally terrified. i can't believe we're getting away with this maybe we should just um should we call uh, Bernie over at the, you know, uh, security one and maybe just add one more round of uh, laser uh, trip wires around the house? Go ahead. Helped to make things happen who are benefiting. Um, right. And if this were <laughs> yes, a <and>. simple organic <laughs> failure, then across the board, we would be expecting to see people trying to figure out what it was, because the chances, I mean, did Hamas get into the military and uh, and uh, intelligence, did it compromise Israeli military intent and intelligence and cause th this breach? That would certainly be a question you would want. I'm not saying it happened. I don't think it did. But 
you would want to rule it out because something beyond normal has to explain Positive this. And let me and just, just contemplate the idea that Hamas has infiltrated Israeli security in such a way that it could actually prevent these, you know, like maybe like uh, the, the Hamas spy agent. It couldn't just be that fascists, one of the upshots about like fascist authoritarian fundamentalist uh, regimes is that they're they lose competence because they don't believe in things like science and they don't they 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 they're high on their own supply. They don't they have delusions of grandeur. They think that they can suppress um, more people than they can suppress. And so they don't necessarily like distribute their resources properly. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, the, the Dark Horse podcast, they clipped this themselves. It wasn't some buddy. Oh, yeah. Just to be clear. <laughs> nobody is. This is you got to pull it. This is like, yeah, you, you got it right there. Yeah. This is the Dark Horse pack is something beyond normal has to explain like, this. How about the longest occupation on Earth? Nah, it's probably aliens. Go ahead happened i don't think it did but you would want to rule it out because something beyond normal has to explain this and let me just again i you know the, the point about conspiracy theory is this if you're mm. really if you really believe that the idea that a hypothesis alleges a possible conspiracy is invalidating on its face then you're not paying attention we have all kinds of collusion taking place and the harm to the public if you if you didn't notice it over covid then you really got to go back and review what happened there was an awful lot of collusion to keep us in the dark a lot of people died of the virus cause right? us to do things that were actually not in our interest to fail to register opportunities to protect certain populations like young people from dangerous things like so-called vaccines from which they get no benefit so-called so, so attempt to memory hole all of that by the same players who right. uh, tried to try who effectively demonized uh, those of us who were resistant in the first place Anybody who's paying attention can see <laughs> oh it. God. And so the point is really not, are you a conspiracy and theorist to smell each or not? Farts or what happens here? The question is, are you any good at it? Mm -hmm. Right? Are you good at being rigorous in the confusing landscape where collusion may be taking place? Can you avoid seeing uh, ghosts where they're not? You know, and it's not easy because, frankly, um, the nature of conspiracy is to create a phony story, which then causes Occam's razor to trigger artificially. Oh, my right? God. Right. So how do you tell the difference between an organically simple explanation for something and a phony baloney simple explanation that effectively obscures the truth? That's that's the difficulty philosophically. And how do you I you know what I desperately want to do? I, do we, I, should we keep watching this or I don't know? Yeah, let's see. 45 more seconds. But here, here's what occurs to me before we finish it. It's like, I wonder if it's possible for us to set up like a live show where we just broadcast like their episodes so that we can just get their audience because I want to see the people who are going like this when they listen, when they're yeah. watching this. Like, oh, yes, it is. It is the idea, like, and what uh, that they're talking about. Occam's razor is the concept of, like, the answer is usually, like, sort of the most obvious and least sinister uh, example. Basically, the least amount of new premises. So, for instance, like, you wouldn't want to have to propose that uh, Hamas is able to infiltrate the idea. <laughs> right, right. It's just, like, what is the most obvious answer? Like, in, like, you know, incompetence or overstretched resources would be... Occam's razor. Everything they're talking about is so far from Occam's razor that if Occam's razor was like a sort of like an edge of a mountain, like, they would be on the other side of the continent from that mountain. Like Occam's overly engineered flip knife. <laughs> But I also want to say, like, I wish I had, could start a podcast, had the time to start a podcast called Something Beyond Normal, because I would do it and just talk about Brett Weinstein. It, it is. He's beyond normal. But it is fat. There must be people who are watching this yeah. and going like, yes. Whoa, I'm scared. Oh, yeah.
and a phony baloney simple explanation that effectively obscures the truth. That's, that's the difficulty philosophically. And how do you do it when all of the emotional triggers are on high? It's even more difficult. Right. It's that if we can get you... You're scared for your life. Maybe because it's a virus, maybe because it's barbaric terrorists. But either way, you're scared for your life, and fear is running your decision-making apparatus and is affecting your ability to see what might be true. Right. It is by putting your... By forcing your amygdala into a control position, you can sideline your conscious mind. And somebody, the question is, is somebody doing that because we will lose all of our best tools for all of the stuff that we as humans are capable of doing uh, in a calmer mindset? Yeah. I think yes. I know two people who are doing that. Mm, Hysterical lot, people speaking calmly. A lot calmly. to think about. So interesting how two separate things happened i'm freaking out, I'm freaking it's out. interesting how this current thing is implicated by the uh, previous thing that i've been beating like a dead horse i i love that <laughs> but i also love like the two things that happened in israel and it's it's interesting uh this incursion by hamas and COVID. meanwhile COVID happened everywhere so anything else that happens in the world is also can be joined with COVID. It's interesting that we had this uh, Kaiser Permanente strike and also COVID happening. Makes you think. Actually, there is probably a connection yeah, <laughs> in, actually, in that yeah. instance. People are realizing we don't have the uh, support from management. And also, if you're working in a hospital, uh, you've been basically, uh, you know, told that, uh, well, you, we're just going to keep working you to death. And oh, and as far as like a thank you, here is your Arby's gift card. And uh, we really appreciate your service. Yeah. One thing to note is um, Brett and Eric Weinstein, his brother, uh, who works for Peter Thiel. Uh, they had a falling out? They had a falling out on this issue specifically with regards to Israel and the vaccine because Eric said that he trusts Israel not to be giving their uh, citizens uh, something that would maim them and Brett said well I disagree interesting and I think I agree with Eric <laughs> I think probably <laughs> probably they know that it uh, all that stuff is bullshit the the classic case of killing off all of your citizens all of your citizens because then I mean, yeah, I mean, we give people we give we give every uh, Israeli, you know, the right to two um, in vitro fertilizations, but we're going to definitely make maim them all with this vaccine. We know it's dangerous. Amazing. Is there any other sound that we should get to? We're running out of time. I thought we were going to take phone calls and I was 100 percent wrong. Interesting that I said we were going to take phone calls. And also, COVID happened. I don't know. I need to think about that. I'm not saying... I, I love how he also says, like, I'm not saying that, you know, like, we need to look at the possibility that a Hamas person got inside the Israeli intelligence and was keeping this process. I mean, I now, watch that movie. Now, and then he says, and he says, but then he says, but now, I'm not saying this has happened. I think it's highly unlikely, but we need to dismiss it first. Yeah. Well, you just did dismiss it. We need to prove Like, negative. literally in the sentence before it, you just dismissed it. And why did you dismiss it offhand? Because it is so highly unlikely. So highly unlikely. It's that nobody took them seriously. If even... And they had just said, if even the Hamas fighters were like, didn't think we would get that far. <laughs> Despite the fact that we've totally compromised yeah, that's the part entire... Of the, that's, yeah. that's part of the, the, the lies, because they, they knew exactly how far they'd get, because they had Mossad infiltrated. 502 True, you can really tell how Sam lights up when getting to break down these idiots and their nonsensical opinions. It, it, I, I, it is, particularly on days like this and weeks like this, it's just like the news is relent relentless. Um, the you know, and everyone I know, for the most part, is like, I can't take it. I can't take. 
I can't take watching the, the media. I can't stop watching the media. I can't uh, take reading Twitter. I can't stop reading Twitter. You have to understand that like we're all like that. Everybody here, we're like that except for we have to. So like even to take a break. So the idea of like is spending 15, that's why like we're, we're getting these extra long dumb dumb clips. Yeah. insano clips because it's really it's like literally like i don't know it's like uh it's therapeutic yes it's also like, emma's probably uh scrolling twitter right now even right though she's to be emma, emma's like i gotta <laughs> i gotta just disconnect for a minute and how are you gonna do she's that DMing me things uh, i'm gonna be doing <laughs> twitter um Elon put, should put the rate limit on for how many times you should refresh. I'd appreciate it. Exactly. 